On today's episode of SEO Lunch, we make Google Analytics even easier with content groupings. Hey everyone, and welcome to this week's episode of SEO Lunch, episode number 52. I'm your host, Dan Zarzicki, and SEO Lunch is your weekly look at the latest in inbound marketing tips, search engine optimization tricks, and other resources to help you with your website. Uh, this, is always, is brought to you by our Embrace WP service. Get your answers to loads of WordPress questions, custom development time, custom consulting time, and more. Check it out, embracewp.com. On today's episode of SEO Lunch, we're going to be talking about something that we've been spending some time with, which is sort of these Google Webmaster tools. Obviously, a huge component of analytics or you know inbound marketing or search engine optimization. So we've talked about Google Analytics. We spent some time with AdWords. What we're going to talk about now is a new feature that was actually recently implemented called content grouping. So it's really cool. You can actually find it in your admin page of Google Analytics. Uh, in the view section, it's a new thing, a new tab called content grouping. You can have up to five of these at one time. And what content groupings allow you to do is specifically what the name sort of suggests. You can basically take your content and group it in a way that is easy to track for your specific purposes, your specific metrics. We talked recently about content auditing, for example, in one of our recent uh, episodes. So what you could do here is you could group a section of blog posts or your entire blog and just track the performance of that. It kind of cuts the fat out. You don't have you know a listing of everything on your website. It's just the one thing I want to track here or there. You could also use it for things like products. So if I want to track just the performance of pages that have products on them, I can do that. Um, there's a lot of really cool little applications you have, and I encourage you to experiment with it. Um, so the way it works is you basically go to um, the page for content grouping, and there's three different ways that you can track it. You can attach a tracking code to your pages um, for Google Analytics, which will allow it to see those pages. That's more of the technical way to do it. Uh, the second way, which is what we're going to expand upon in a little bit, is extraction, which is a really easy sort of way to just take everything from a blog, everything from a certain type of product, and just group it all together in one fell swoop. And we're going to talk about what that looks like. And then there's also rules. The way rules works is you can basically say this page does contain this element or does not contain element. And if it does contain this element, we're going to track it. If it doesn't, we won't in this content grouping. So the way it works um, in the Google Analytics here is you basically go right in here and you can type in, for example, let's use the e-commerce example that we used before. Let's say you've set up a WooCommerce website or something and you want to track all your sales. What you can do is you can basically go in there and you can say, you know, let's say it's slash product. And then you put in the code, um, you know, in parentheses, you put period, asterisk, question mark, slash. What this will do is it will take every single product item with the slash product followed by whatever it might be, and it will put it together in this grouping for you automatically. Really cool, really easy way to do it. Um, so in our case, as always, right, if we have um, like pizza sauce, right, you can have maybe a product, you have traditional pizza sauce, spicy pizza sauce, chunky pizza sauce, whatever it might be. All those items would be grouped together and you can just track the performance of your products if they're being seen, what the behavior looks like, stuff like that. On that note, the way to actually see it, uh, first of all, it will take 24 hours to implement so it won't happen automatically. But when you go to any sort of site content or behavior page on Google Analytics, anywhere where you can track those kind of um, metrics, you can actually sort by content grouping there as opposed to other metrics in the past. So really easy, really, really cool tool to use uh, to get the most out of your Google Analytics, to track your e-commerce, to track your blog posts when you're doing a content audit or going forward. Um, if you have any more questions about the content groupings or Google Analytics, you can certainly contact us at embracewp.com slash contact. We'd love to help um, with your WordPress questions and website questions. So thank you. 